accidentally breaking the camera because I dropped it onto concrete yesterday. This is tell it to someone. First question is from the Devil's Advocate. What would what do you think about the Twelfth Doctor's debut series? Ah, Peter Capaldi. Yay. It was such a, a wonderful performance. I, I resent it. I really, really do. Because when I become the Doctor uh, in uh, three years' time, I believe, I'm going to have to beat that. And, look, I would have made a great 12th Doctor if I had the acting training and the and the good looks and, and um, hair and pants that Peter Capaldi has. And I was able to fit in those pants, of course, and the hair. And the eyebrows. So, apart from that, it's great. Next question is from uh, Kwame River. Uh, you look a little flushed. Do you have Ebola? Are you under doctor's care? Well, um, I'm under Peter Capaldi's care. Because we all are. Because, you know, the earth is defended. But apart from that, no, I don't have Ebola much. Next question is from uh, KB. Is creationist cat really a male? Well, okay, right. So for all of you who don't, you don't have the uh, original uh, story of the backstory of creationist cat. He was an ordinary house cat who was um, zapped by God through the internet. And now he's, uh, you know, he's defeating everybody who isn't like Christian, used, mostly using the argumentum ad explodum technique, where, you know, people just tend to like that. Alright, so, ordinary has, house cats, they, uh, they, um, have this prime weakness, see? Um, they have to go to this place called the vet, and what happens at the vet is that their reproductive organs uh, get removed from them and taken away to somewhere. I don't know where, but they get removed. So, technically, creationist cat is no longer male. Next, no wonder he, you know, does that thing to everybody, blows them up. Next question is from uh, Jeff, the God of Biscuits. So I heard a rumour that someone might disrespect my fo followers so, so much as to consider tossing them. What might be a suitable form of vengeance? I don't have a lot of experience in the vengeance department. Well, as a God of Biscuits, um, you might want to consider the ironical uh, kind of, um, of uh, uh, vengeance. Um, for example, um, when they uh, did Jesus, uh, they... Uh, because uh, he was carpenter originally before he, you know, started hanging around with fishermen, um, they nailed him to a piece of wood and just left him there and then took him down before he was dead, apparently. But anyway, he survived. He, well, he didn't survive, but he came back. So, what you do is you take a big vat of warm tea and just soak them there until they fall apart and then sort of fish them out all the gunk up down the bottom delicious currently disconnected asked is it safe not for the biscuit and the last question today is uh, Kate Van. is it true that my liver will explode if I drink everything in moderation well if you drink moderate amounts of um, everything that would include cola and scotch and bourbon and rye and vodka, um, absinthe, um, lava, hydrofluoric acid, um, gin, cocksucking cowboys, cloves, coriander. Baskets, Irish stew, opioids, then, you know, nitroglycerin, 
could drink some nitroglycerin, that might help the liver explode. But, um, but if you drink them all, one of them's bound to make your liver explode, eventually, if you try really hard. That's it for Tell Someone for this week. If you would like to ask me a question, then ask me a direct damn question. And don't make me fish into the previous week's questions, because this week will be last week's previous week, and this week's questions have all been taken. So, um, uh, answer my dovetail question over here. And, uh, I'm dangerously talented, and, uh, I don't have a cool sign-off.